we turn our attention to a fabulous evening here in the stadium and we start with the women's javelin well there's the uh, world record held by Sputakova that uh, fantastic 72 26 back in 208 well, she's here she's coming back into form the double Olympic champion but the competition is also very strong Sarah Kovac the Olympic champion from Rio is also in this and the defending champion Katarina Molitar so it's not going to be straightforward and there's been some very good throws already in qualifying conditions though I said it before pretty cold here in the stadium not much wind it's questionable whether the uh, javelin throws like throwing into a wind or with a wind but uh, I think at the moment it's pretty sort of cool and calm down there at trackside it is it's decent conditions as the fanfare welcomes all the athletes in this women's javelin final it's going to be fascinating Steve you've got Kolak who won the Diamond League circuit in Lausanne with a world leading throw in a national record beating Spitakova the world record holder but Spitakova is coming back in form and is throwing her best for what four or five years now I think I think Spitakova usually gets a big throw out at the beginning she, well, from the competitions I've seen anyway and I think that's her technique frighten the rest of the competition and then after that they have to respond well who who you lose second in the world championships led going into the final in Beijing but that was beaten in the final throw of the competition by Monitar Radcez of Slovenia seventh in London Olympics just but just now moving to the camera Kaladovic the European champion from Belarus and there, this is the Olympic champion, Sarah Klovac. She was a big surprise with that uh, win, but she set the Cro Croatian records in qualifying for that final, so shouldn't have been too surprised. Kersey Lee Roberts of Australia, and a personal best this year, 46-38. And here, the great Barbora Spotakova. Well, as we said, she's coming back into form, and you wouldn't underestimate this woman. And Elizabeth Bedell of Canada, the Pan American Games champion. And one of the other good Chinese throwers here, Ling Wei Li of China, personal best of 64-10. And then Adis Helmsotia, she became the first Atlantic woman to reach the final of an Olympic field event. Wonderful performance from her. And then from Turkey, Ida Tuksu. Sharp improvement this year to 67-21. And she's just moved into the senior ranks. Another of the Chinese athlete, Xing Yi Lu, the Chinese record holder, with that distance of 66-47. And then making up the 12 women, Katrina Molitor, the defending world champion. So there's the 12 women. This will be the first event starting this evening and the first final. The defending champion, the Olympic champion and the world record holder. Hopefully it will be as firing, as exciting as that women's triple jump last night. Get two or three of the athletes putting one out there early doors. That really is up for grabs, as you say, Steve. Yeah, I think it is. And I think no one is a, an absolute favourite, although there are people, uh, sorry, women in this event, which could obviously produce a very big throw right from the very beginning. But the conditions, as I said, you see all the athletes there still having their tracksuits on, still keeping warm as much as possible. That's going to be a big factor for the javelin. Obviously, they're out there for a long, long time. And pretty hard to keep warm. So maybe the first round is when the big throws will come. Let's wait to see. Well, Huey Lou now. Second in the World Championships. New Asian record here, actually. 67-59 when she was first in the qualifiers. Big Chinese contingent here shouting on all their athletes and all the events. Oh, it's a good throw, dropping slightly. Just below the 65, or in between the 65 to 60 metres.
third in the world on distance this year. So it's not up to a usual standard, but it's early days in the uh, javelin throw. There it is, 62-71. Well, obviously, she's in first place. It's the first throw. But we'll have to wait until the uh, first round goes through before we get a true picture of what's developing in this javelin. Martina Rataj now, seventh in London. She had a good throw, actually, in qualifying, 65-64, which is her best of the season so far, so she's in good shape. Goes up. Well, about the same distance again, just over the 60-metre uh, line. We must emphasise now that... Uh, even though sometimes those lines have been slightly off in terms of uh, us watching it, because if sometimes we put the um, graphics lines on as well, they are now absolutely accurate. So we can be sure that the throws that we see, the distance that we get, will be absolutely 100%. Well, there it is, 61.05, obviously, just keeping her in second place at the moment. Kaladovic now, the European champion. She's had a good season, really. She was first in Eugene, first in the Belarusian Cup, then first in Henglo, so she's been in really in form. Just 62.58. Well, the qualifying distance is really not that sort of indicative of what they're going to do because it's just the distance they have to qualify for. So the throw... Yes, it's slightly better than the throws he's in so far, closer to that 65. Kolodovic, European champion last year, Steve. Didn't qualify for Beijing two years ago. Well, that throw looks as if it could be round about the best throw we've seen so far out of the three. Are they up? 63.04. Not much going on in the stadium at the moment, so we're concentrating on the javelin. There is a massive crowd already here. I think almost all the seats, I think, rather completely full. They are. It's a, it's a fantastic turnout. Now, what an interesting thrower here, because Kolak was the surprise Olympic champion last year, and she's the best thrower in the world so far this year, just ahead of Spatakova. And here she comes. Oh, a lower trajectory now. That's gone way below her best. Yeah, she step over the line for that. Not good at all. Well, remember, we've got to take the S eight best throwers out of this uh, group of 12 to go through to an, an extra three throws. So it's not exactly the best way to start for Kolak. Kersey Lee Roberts, the third in the Commonwealth Games. The Australian, is, the Australian competition is much like the uh, American competition. It's very early in the season, so to come here after an early season prep is pretty difficult for most of the Australians. Well, that's a good throw around about the midway point again between the 60-65. Uh, Her best this year is 64.38, so I think that's a little bit short of that. Australian champion. Actually born in London, South Africa, and uh, coach Mike Barber there. Right. So now we come to the, perhaps the big throw of the first round. Barbara Spotakova. Double Olympic champion, coming back, as Catherine mentioned, into form this year. If she can get a big throw in here, it will set the cat amongst the pigeons, it really will. Coming in. It's gone high, and it's coming down 
pretty sharp. So, again, in that mid-range. Doesn't look too happy with it. Such longevity, Steve. She's been around at the top for what seems like an eternity. Started out as a heptathlete 17 years ago. Now 36 years of age. She's had some big wins on the tour so far, but more well, work to do. Well, I think in terms of throwing, it doesn't necessarily mean that uh, age is a problem. In fact, it sometimes makes you stronger. And here we go now. The next thrower, Liz Gledo. Pan American champion. And uh, the Canadian champion. This is the fifth title as the Canadian champion. She's very, very experienced. It's going up high, but again, dropping. The lack of wind, I think, is not carrying these javelins as far as uh, perhaps we would like, or they would like, anyway. So this competition could be quite interesting because of that, I think. Sixty twelve. so that keeps her well back at the moment in fifth place. Meanwhile, back, the uh, javelin is still underway. This is Lingwei Li of China. The lead at the moment, held by uh, Kaladovic, 63.04. Well, she screamed, it's gone out well, but just over that 60-metre mark. I don't think that will threaten the lead, as I said, of Kaladovic. But it's not a bad throw. Looks at the moment as if most of the throws of early on in this first round are just over that 60 metre mark, not too far over either. There it is, 61 81. Well, she's in third place. Of Turkey now. Oh, screams, screams, I keep screaming. Well, again, about, I'd say, 61, 62. Just looking at the scoreboard, just seeing where she is in relation to the rest of the athletes here. Wow, she's getting excited. Let's just see what it is, let's see if she is. Well, that's a good throw then. 61-81 again, she moves up into third. Smoothly done from Daphne Skippers in the first heat. Gaither from the Bahamas is also through. And Belin Pasake of Greece has taken the third automatic spot. Bianca Williams will have to wait and see. Javelin again, this is the lead lady. Tatiana Kaladovic, that's a 63.04. Here we go. Wow, that's a lot better. That's a very big throw. Those are the lines of the medal positions. Gold, silver and bronze, and that's gone well over that. European champion. Fifth at the Olympics. Well, that's going to be really, really close to uh, one of the farthest throws we're going to see here. She's just having a quick look. Yeah, look at that. 64.05. Well, she sails and keeps a distance and place as the number one in the javelin. Well, what can Kolak do now? Foul on the first throw. It was a disaster of a first throw, actually. She's talking herself into it. Olympic champion. That was a surprise, but can she actually consolidate that with a victory here? Let's have a look. Oh, it's gone. Whoa! That's another big throw. Whoa, well, that surprise at the Olympics might not have been such a throw. There's the coach. Well, Kolak really has put uh, a big throw out there. Let's just wait and see how far. Well, as Rob mentioned, she is the world leader. It was a national record that she threw in Lausanne 
when she threw the national record and world lead of 68.43. Wow. 64.95, well, it's not that far, but it looks as if it's far yep. enough at the moment to take the lead. It certainly is. The world record holder is ready and poised. Well, it's Budakova now hopefully unleashing a bigger throw than uh, she's done before because Kolak is in the lead with 64.95. Oh, that's a good throw. It's gone high. Oh, that's gone very high and very long. Well, if that is to be the case, she looks like she's taken the lead. But she's happy. She knows she has. They can almost sense it when they let the javelin go that it's going to be a throw that's going to be remembered. And that one has gone. You can almost see it goes above the height of some of the stands there. You can judge it yourself. Let's have a look. There it is, 66, 76. Yep. Moves her into the lead. No, I'm number one, she says. Yep. Well, this is the woman uh, that threw that to very good throw, 61, 81. Can she go further now? To, to, oh, again, she loves to scream. And that, I think, is even better. That's a good throw. Just over what looks like the bronze medal position. But if that is the case, then she has thrown close to 63, maybe 64. Well, 67-21 this season. She's still just 20 years old. It's a national record that she's thrown for Turkey. Made a massive improvement up from 58 to 67 metres in her first year as a senior. She's clearly talented, and that's a good improvement. Well, 64-52, that moves her into third place. That's a great throw. Well, now you see Kaladovic, Belarus. First round throw of 63.04. Put her into fourth place, fourth place at the time. Another big long arm and it goes out. Just over the mark there. Red flag goes up though, unfortunately, so that's a disappointment. She fouls. She probably thought it wasn't good enough, so she fouled it herself. 64.04, 64.05 though in the second round. Right, Kolak, the Olympic champion now, 64-95, she was in second place with that throw. Oh, again, pulled hard, too hard really, it came down too quickly, red flag. Kolak has had two fouls so far, but one big throw at 64.95. So her technique at the moment isn't really letting her produce the best results that we'd expect from her, but I don't know, let's wait and see. Well, she's grateful for the 64.95 in the second round. Got herself in the top eight, chance to compose herself for the three further throws. Well, there's a few more throws to go in this third round, but I think that will secure her a place in the... Uh, next session of the javelin just get waiting for the the women have a chance to choose which javelin they want and they sometimes wait for the one that's been thrown previously so that comes back and Kelsey Lee Roberts of Australia whose best throw was in the first round of 60-76 is just about to take the next throw the Australian champion third in that Commonwealth Qualified with 63.70. She's in ninth place at the moment. She's living dangerously. She's got to throw around about 61 plus to get into that top eight. Oh, I don't think that's going to be good enough. Yeah, and I think she knows it too. She's thanking everybody. But that is the end of the competition for the Australian. Very difficult, it looks easy, the javelin, but it's very, very difficult to get the flight right, especially when there's no wind, it doesn't carry. Lingwei Li of China, sixth place for that uh, 63.01. Asian champion now coming in. Oh, that's, a, that's gone high, and it's gone a long, long way. Wow. 
She'll be really pleased with that. Well, the coach is standing up. The screen was there, the trajectory was there, the power was there, and the javelin went a long, long way. This is huge, Steve. Her personal best is five years old, at just over 65 metres. Well, I think that's going to be smashed. Yeah. This is a great throw at these competitions. She's going to be really pleased. And there it is, look, 66-25, her personal best in second position. Well, that was one out of the blue, really. Now we're coming to Suksu of Turkey. She was, uh, well, she was in third position, but she's been moved down now to fourth. This young Turk, 64-52, what can she do? It's gone out, it's gone a long way, but it's dropping, it's just fading there. So I think she'll foul that one, she won't be happy. She'll keep her second round throw of 64-52 as the best so far. Wow. Now, the, remember, the first eight of these throwers go through to the next three throws. And so far, this young lady, Shi Ying Liu of China, has had two failures. She is living very, very dangerously. The best this year, she's capable of 66 plus. Let's see what she can do now. Well, she pulled hard, and it has gone out. Just over that 60-metre uh, mark, so that should hopefully keep her in the action. Let's wait and see. She's the Chinese record holder, and has just seen her teammate come within 22 centimetres of her national record, so she needed to pull it out. Well, she did, really. That's important for her to produce the goods. Well, here's the standings after three rounds in the women's javelin. Remember, there's three more rounds to go. Spartakova leading the Olympic champion. Oh, no, so the past Olympic champion, twice Olympic champion, 66-76. That great throw from Lee of China with a personal best there, 66-25. And Kolak, well, the new Olympic champion there in third place at the moment. But early days, still more three more throws for each of these athletes. Well, wow, that great throw, really, from Ling Wei Li in the, uh, what was it, the third round. 66-25, she's smiling when she picked up the javelin. Maybe we're going to get another big throw, let's wait and see. Well, it's gone out. Oh, well, it is another big throw. Not sure when that's going to improve her best, but it's over the 65. She is having a great series. Remember, her best 66-25 in second place at the moment. Spartakova leads 66-76, some 50 centimetres or so in front of Lee at the moment. She's looking, she's looking. Well, 65-38, just below her personal best throw in the second round, third round, I should say. Meanwhile, the leader of the competition coming now into the uh, runway, Spatakova. That lead, as I said before, 66-76 in the second round, no throw in the third. She is clear by, I say, 50 centimetres or so, but that's not much in the javelin, really, it isn't. So she knows she's still got a fight on her hands. But the experience of this woman is absolutely tremendous. Double Olympic champion, 12 and 8. It's gone up, it's gone up, and it's come down again. Well, they're peppering that uh, 65 metre line there, now in this uh, fourth round. She's looking, I think she knows that perhaps it's not as good as that uh, big throw she had. But having said that, she's coming into great form. I think Cathy said that uh, throughout this year she's been getting better and better. And that throw. 65, 64, well, 66, 76, it's not as good, but it's, again, consistent. And in the javelin, that's important. 
Fifth round of the javelin. You in eighth place. 62-71. Not much happening so far in this round. Oh, she's screaming at that one. That one's gone out, and it's going a long way. Well, that's got to be better than a 62-71. Well, the Chinese javelin throwers are really, really putting it on here. A teammate, Lee, 66-25 in second at the moment. That's a good throw. You can see the power there. Launches it out. It's gone sailing out. And that's the 65 meter. She knows it's a big throw. And it is 65 26. Well, China now in second and third place in the javelin. There you are. That's the time that uh, the javelin throwers get. They've got a limited amount of time. Well, Lee is really enjoying it. She's got a smile on her face. She's having a great competition. There it is. That's 66 25. Coming in now. It's a good throw. It's gone up high again. Oh, but just dropping. Sometimes it goes up too high and it does drop. She's fouled it. She knows it wasn't as good as she wanted. There's the foot over the line. Still second place at the moment and third for the Chinese athletes. Spadakova. Still in that lead with that massive 66-76. 50 centimetres clear of anybody at the moment. Started off as a heptathlete. Jan Zelezny, the great javelin thrower, perhaps of all time, said that she should take up the javelin. She wasn't sure, but when he said it, well, what can you do? You have to take it up, really, don't you? And that's exactly what he, she did. What a result it's been since then. One championship after another, this woman has just chalked them off. crowd clapping now she launches it it's gone up high and it's gone a long way but it drops again no wind it doesn't carry so it drops quickly now well, she shakes her head fouls it what can you do though you're in the gold medal position they're starting to creep up on you and you're still throwing well but uh, you haven't launched a really massive throw to secure it really She's had an incredible career, Steve, and it's amazing that she finds herself on the verge of yet another gold medal. Liu in the final round. In that fifth round, she soared with a 65-26 into the bronze medal position, just behind her teammate, Lee, 66-25. Oh, it's got up high, very high, but it's dropped again. Wow. Well, Bit of a wait now to see if she can hold on to that bronze medal. Good launch. You just have to get it absolutely right with a degree. And I think I was taught in my physics lesson 45 degrees is the right sort of angle, but that perhaps isn't the case just as easy as that in a javelin. Well, we're still in the final round of the javelin. Not much has happened really so far. Tutsu, that 64-52, uh, keeping her in fifth place. She really has got to launch something around about the 65-plus. It's gone up high, but it drops again just short of that 65. So no movement, I don't think, with her. And she will stay in fifth place at the moment. Well, the last few throws of the women's javelin now coming into action. Can anybody pull out a massive throw to start altering the positions of the medals? There they are, Spotikova, Lee and Yu. Well, what can this woman do? Kovac. She has the capability of launching a very, very big throw. Ah, oh, but it's dived again. Her form in this competition really hasn't been great at all, has it? Another foul. Well, her best throw, 64-95, just keeping her at the moment out of the medals in fourth. And she was the world leader coming into this competition, Steve, as well as being Olympic champion. What a story this could be if Spatakova manages to hang on.
Well, these are the challenges. Lee is the only one, really, that can really upset things now. That throw of 66-25 was a long throw. She's come in, she's launched it. Oh, it's a good throw, but not quite. Well, Spartakova knows she's won it. She really does. Lee, what a great performance from the Chinese athletes, though. Second and third. Well, Spartakova, the double Olympic champion, now becomes the world champion. Absolutely fantastic. Winning the title again, 10 years after becoming champion of the world in Osaka in 2007. What a journey and what a story. The celebrations from the Chinese athletes, but the last throw of the competition. She knows she's got it. How can you rally yourself after that? How can you, how can you go down the runway and produce a, a good throw? Well, there's their coach saying, come on, concentrate. You've still got one throw left. Very hard to do that, surely. That second round throw, she loves to get the big throw in early in the competition. She really does, and she's done exactly the same again. Look, she can't concentrate. She knows she's won it. This is a difficulty, isn't it, really? So, the last and final throw of the women's javelin. Let's hope, let's just hope she can just concentrate enough to throw a massive throw. It's gone up, it is good, and it's not bad, but it's not really what uh, you'd expect. But that doesn't mean anything. Look at the celebrations. Absolutely fantastic. There's the coach for the Czech Republic. Well, that's a marvellous performance. Well, Steve, the double Olympic champion is the double world champion. Back on top after taking time out to have her son, Janek, who she said she named Janek as a part tribute to Jan Zalesny, the man who you said advised her to swap from the heptathlon to the javelin. And at the age of 36, she is still going strong. Gold in Osaka, gold in London. Hopping over the barriers just to be with her coach and her friends. And look at the Chinese behind, they're still celebrating as well. They've had a great competition too. Well, as I said before, she her competition is very strong at the beginning. She gets those big throws in, Kath, and it's so, so difficult, isn't it, sometimes to, to come back from that. Look at that. She's really enjoying, she's really enjoying herself. She's enjoying it, Steve. She, she would, she's in disbelief, I think, a little bit, Babora, because she's enjoying her throwing. You speak to her and she says, I love my throwing, I'm going to keep going, I'm going to do it for as long as I can. And now she's come world champion again. Absolutely outstanding. The crowd are on their feet. Absolutely delighted for her. There she goes. She's down safely. She's all right. But it was a good competition by the Chinese taking silver and bronze, that personal best for Lou. But for Babora Spatakova, wow. What a story, what a competition. Well, the field events really have really produced some great competition so far. There's Spatakova's performance, 66-76, taking the gold. Great throw from Li Wei Li of China, 66-25, a personal best. That's not, uh, that's not to be underestimated in the world competition. Huey Liu also getting the bronze medal, 65-26.